Is it dangerous to go zero to 60 pedal to the metal in your Tesla model plaid? So we're gonna talk about G-force. When a car accelerates quickly, it exerts a force on the occupants known as G-force. It's measured in multiples of Earth's gravity. For example, one G-force is the force what you feel here standing still here on Earth. The Tesla Model S Plaid can accelerate zero to 60 in just 1.99 seconds. This means that the occupants of the car will experience a force of up to 1.374 Gs during acceleration. So is this dangerous to do? Before I get into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to Plaid Balls. If you liked the video, please hit like and comments are always welcome below. So let's get right back into it. Healthy humans can experience G-forces up to five Gs for short durations. However, exposure to G-forces above 5G can be dangerous and lead to serious health problems, including blacking out, loss of consciousness, or even death. So to compare Tesla's plaid mode, we need to look at roller coasters. Roller coasters are a good example of how humans can experience high G-forces for short durations. Let's take, for example, the Aerosmith Rocking Roller Coaster at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. It exerts a maximum G-force of 5.2 Gs. People with underlying health conditions such as heart disease, back problems, and neck problems should be especially careful about exposing themselves to high G-forces. High G-forces can worsen these conditions and lead to serious complications and you should take this into account when considering when flooring it into the occupants of your vehicle as well. Take them into consideration. So is it safe to go zero to 60 in model plaid Tesla? It depends on your individual health and tolerance for G-force and make sure you always take into account the individuals you're traveling with. If you have or they have any health conditions, it's probably something you shouldn't do. Finally, it's important to note that G-forces experienced in a Tesla plaid are not evenly distributed throughout the body. The head and the neck experience the highest G-forces while feet experience the lowest G-forces. This can be uncomfortable and painful for some people. It is also important to start slowly and gradually increase your speed until you're comfortable with the level of acceleration. I'm curious, have you or your passengers ever experienced a negative side effect from G-forces in your Tesla?